everyone, welcome back to One Shot, the show where we have one camera, one girl Hemming, one Sean David, but 100% of NBA basketball. Well, for all you, this is the legendary Sean David. My name is Gert Hemming. That is the camera. This is One Shot. I'm doing good. You? Can't complain, yeah. as always. Now, we wanted to talk about the Splash Brothers. Actually, the topic of today's episode is, are the Splash Brothers still championship material? Well, and... Well, we, I mean, you got, you got to explain. I mean, I know, but who are the Okay, players? so we're talking about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Now, as we know, they, they've uh, won championships in the past, but the last season with their injuries, the Golden State Warriors didn't look too good. I think they only won 15 games, and it was a very tough season for them. So not looking too good is an understatement. Yeah, yeah that was actually a nice way to say it. Yeah, but they didn't play. No, they were trying, but... They, no, I mean the Splash Brothers didn't play. No, they, yeah, they, they didn't. They, yeah, they... Well, um, we, we have... This is why the question is so interesting. We're talking about two elite players who are now in their early 30s, who come from serious injury, and we all know that it can go one way now or it can go the other way. Mm-hmm. And that's why the question is so interesting. You want to go first? Well, I, I want to I wanna immediately, uh, you know, say something that is going to drive you crazy. Because right. the, the statement is, are the Splash Brothers uh, going to be able to bring another championship to yes. uh, the Golden State Warriors, yes. to the California area? I'm here to say that they never did. I'm, I'm, I'm not behind oh. that narrative that it's the Splash Brothers. I, I mean, if you put the Splash Brothers, you know, uh, Clay and, and, and Steph, on 20 of the other 30 teams, they won't have won either. So... Um, my point is that yes, they're elite players. Yes, they're very good, but they are not the 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 the, the very number one reason that the championships went to the Golden State Warriors. It is the team concept, the way they played. It was new at that time, and as soon as it got a little bit less new, they added Kevin Durant, they had Draymond Green, and everybody played a piece all the way up to the 11 and 12 men who were who had experience and brought something there. Yes. Clay Thompson, I love Clay, Clay Thompson. Why? He's an exceptional shooter, can also put on the floor mid-range jumpers, but especially on the defensive end, he never ever lets up uh, a single possession. Love him. Um, we have done episodes on Steph Curry. I'm not the greatest fan. Of course, I see what he can do, and he's exceptional at what he does. And together, they're definitely dynamic. Are they the reason that they won the championships? I say no. Wow. But... They definitely were a huge part of that reason. But if you put them in, all, in, in any other bottom teams, let's say the 15 bottom teams, I'm not saying that they, those teams are going to win a championship. So my assessment is this. First of all, I hope that both guys come back healthy and play at the same level or can play at the same level as they always have because it's good for the league and it's entertaining to watch. Mm-hmm. But for them to win an, a championship in, uh, in, in, uh, in California again with the Golden State Warriors, okay, other pieces need to play as Draymond did uh, three, four years ago, as Kevin Durant did, as Iguodala did, as everybody had their roles, and the same sort of play that is not new anymore. Mm. You know, the way they played five five years ago with with uh, weak side picks without, you know, off-ball screens and all of that stuff, that's not new anymore. Eh? Everybody knows it, so a lot of pieces have to be added. One. You know, of, we know Wiggins has been added, mm-hmm. you know, at the end of last season. It kind of went under the radar because of the whole COVID situation. I think he's a good ad, but he's not a Kevin Durant. Then inside, you know, some players stepped up, but on a 15-win team, anybody can step up. So I would have to see more. But they, they of course, go into the draft soon. They can pick up somebody there, but they definitely have so, have to do something in the offseason as well via trade or sign somebody or lure another Mm. Uh, highly respected semi-superstar to superstar to the Bay Area. All right. Well, I agree partly. <laughs> o- o- only partly. Now, um, what you just said that you feel that the Golden State Warriors won their championship not mainly because of the Splash Brothers, I disagree. Yeah. I, th- uh, I-, I really feel that they were a huge part of that. Why? Because they they made the system work, and they made they they gave the the system the chance to work. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. So um, wh- what I agree with is that other teams figured out the system and it wasn't new anymore, and that's why they had to 
at a Kevin Durant to be successful. I agree with that. Um, which is, I also feel why, um, that they have to make a move this season. They need to, to, uh, get a free agent or be lucky with the draft because they haven't got the first or second or third pick as I expected. Mm-hmm. I think they have the eighth pick now. Um, they need to get lucky and get a player who's better than his position. Mm-hmm. Um, they never needed a dominant big I mean dominant bigs in that system you don't really it, need one. exactly mm-hmm. but they need another player who can make plays yes um, but I feel that with both players because they didn't rely too much on athletic ability that they will recover in the right way they will still be productive will they still rack up the same stats as before I'm not sure but I still feel that they can hit shots make plays and be um, very vital for a team Look, I mean, the the entire two pa- past two minutes that you talked, I don't disagree with anything. I think fundamentally, we just uh, we just uh, in a different way um, way uh, the importance of the, the the Splash Brothers influence on the championship as opposed to the system and everybody else that did well, on the system and 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 the other players. I want to get to one player specifically. Um, for Steph Curry and Clay Thompson to be able to get into some sort of a rhythm where they talk about championships again in four or five months, I think Draymond Green is, oh, is yes. pivotal. I mean, the way he played last season, of course, there's some 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 mental fatigue. If you're on the top of, top of the hill for four or five years straight and you're playing at the high level that uh, Draymond Green did on both the offensive end and b- but specifically also the defensive end, you know, when you're then on a 15-win team or, you know, yeah. a, 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 a dookie team, <laughs> I don't yeah. know, how, how, we're trying to not to curse here on one shot. Um, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to get yourself up and motivate yourself uh, a day in, day out or on game days is really, really difficult. My question is, if Draymond Green can step up to that level again and facilitate and help the Splash Brothers in the way that he did two years ago, three years ago, I think that's going to be really hard for Draymond. I was shocked last season, yeah, to be yeah. honest. And it was I, embarrassing. I, 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 I always liked him as a player because mm-hmm. I felt that he had still that old school mentality mm-hmm. to, to yeah. do whatever it takes to win a basketball game, Agreed. not not caring about stats, just getting the job done. So I'm a big fan of, of Draymond. But last season, it, he looked like he couldn't play. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I, was, I, I was a little embarrassed for him. But, uh, you know, I, I again, I, I touched upon this. I think it's just uh, mental fatigue of being on top of the hill for that long. And then falling all the way into the valley, all the way to the bottom, and it's def- difficult to get up. Now, I also like him, and because of that old school mentality, I do see the possibility that he, he you know, picks himself up by the coattails and uh, and get going again. And he, uh, the Splash Brothers, what this episode is about, if they want to be successful, they need Wiggins to play like uh, he did in his best years in uh, Minnesota. Um, they need Draymond to get back to his old form, and they need to add another pay, pay, pace. And then, even if they do all of that, I still disagree with the premise that it's the Splash Brothers that bring championships. It's, it's the whole system there. Although they have a big part, Sean. Come on, don't look at me crazy. All right. Well, I still believe that they can <laughs> can cause some damage, but we will see in the future. All right? We will see in the future. So, you guys, if you have an opinion, please post it underneath the comments, and we see you next time on One Shot. <laughs>